to the tens of millions of young Americans who have spent years marching, rallying, demanding that Congress act on climate change, this bill is for you. On August 7, 2022, the U.S. Senate passed one of the most important legislations in its history. Formerly known as the Inflation Reduction Act, would essentially allocate $369 billion to reducing greenhouse gas emissions and investing in renewable energy sources. This would essentially reduce America's emissions by about 40% by 2030 compared to 2005 levels. To put it in context, the bill would eliminate around 1 billion tons of greenhouse gases by 2030, which is more than double the total annual emissions of the UK. So, what does this bill mean for climate change mitigation? The new bill plans to transform the energy generation and distribution of America and shape the country's climate and industrial policy for decades. Through this new legislation, the US could add 550 gigawatts of renewable energy from sources such as wind and solar. A major portion of legislation consists of tax credits aimed at getting clean energy to the mainstream. According to the bill, consumers could be reimbursed up to $7,500 for a new electric vehicle and $4,000 for a used car. A sum of $1.5 billion will also be made available to oil companies to cut down their greenhouse gas emissions. The bill will penalize those with leaks with a fee of up to $1,500 per tonne of methane emissions. The historic bill is set to transform the global energy economy and may positively impact the clean energy programs of other nations. With the new bill, the US government plans to take on China in the clean energy sector by giving billions of dollars in incentives for the domestic production of clean energy materials. According to the IEA, China currently manufactures 80% of the solar cells and modules, which could go up to 95% by 2025. While the bill has a lot going for climate mitigation measures, one of the sour points for climate activists is that it continues to support drilling for gas and oil. New drilling leases will continue on federal land, including new oil and gas drilling leases in Alaska and the Gulf of Mexico. It will also promote unproven technologies like carbon capture and storage for coal-powered plants. But overall, the new bill is considered the first big steps that the US is taking to avoid runaway climate change.